Now to a developing story. Actors from Los Angeles to New York are on the picket line, striking for better pay and protections. The Screen Actors Guild, the union representing thousands of actors, approved the strike after negotiations failed to meet their demands. And they're joining writers who were already on strike. But the actors have some slightly different concerns, and at least one of those joining the movement lives in Tucson. 13 News reporter Andres Lendon sat down with John Proudstar on why he is joining that fight. Well, Mary, as the writer's strike is now spanning over two months, actors are now joining the fight to fight for better pay and compensation, as well as protections from AI and its applications in media. I can't overstate the importance of the Screen Actors Guild and what it's done for my life. The strike from SAG after the union representing over 100,000 of Hollywood's actors aren't representing the demands of big name movie stars like Ryan Reynolds or Tom Holland. Though large actors like those have stood with the strike, those facing the actual issues are the supporting or featured actors that appear casually throughout a show season. John Proudstar is an actor living in Tucson and he understands the issues he's fighting for firsthand. Starring in movies like The Year of the Dog, Proudstar says the glamorous depiction of acting once he's on screen isn't exactly what life is like behind the camera. People will see me at my second job and they recognize me from the show. And they're like, what are you doing here? Why are you working here? <laughs> like, you know, you gotta make a living. The bills keep coming in, you know. Proudstar first noted as a red flag when signing on for Reservation Dogs, produced by Disney. Compared to the traditional residual model that he was used to and looking forward to for this project, the payment model for this particular case was entirely different. Streaming services like Netflix and Disney Plus are starting to feature shorter seasons over longer periods of time, meaning less reliable work for actors. Through these streaming services, actors are not able to earn royalties from reruns from traditional cable TV. The Alliance of Motion Picture and Television, the organization representing major studios and executives, isn't budging. And it's not like we're asking for the world, you know, comparatively speaking to what they make. Uh, you know, so we just want to restructure the existing deal to fit the change in, in how the money is being distributed and, and how things are being shot and produced now. Another concern for the actors is artificial intelligence or AI. Proudstar recalls a move to hire background extras, scan their image, and only pay them for one day of work while their image is used for more than one occasion. Aside from the unfair practices AI can lead to, worries increase that AI can decrease, if not eliminate, genuine and creative ideas in acting by real people. Ben Fries, a director and writer based in Tucson, says the use of AI takes away from what people actually want to see on screen. You're seeing some giant movies with huge budgets failing recently. Uh, very recently, even last weekend. And um, I think people have a hunger for something original and something, you know, like Inter is completely original, Eye for an Eye is completely original. And uh, I think people want more of that. You know, they want more human stories and um, less eye candy. For Proudstar, despite the challenges he and many others face as an actor, he has no plan to escape the profession at all. Proudstar knows just how much emotion a film or television show can spark, especially as a child when he saw someone like him on screen. Today, he admires knowing a young child can see Proudstar on screen and know that anything is possible. Uh, those things are so valuable to me, and I'm trying to do the same. I'm trying to return the favor.